Um, what's going on with this broccoli? I'm gonna chop this broccoli into florets. Florets? Florets. Very fancy. I don't know what florets are and nobody is telling me what they are. It sounds like flower. It also sounds like fluorescent. Or it's just like doing this. I feel strongly about broccoli. It's delicious. It's nutritious. I used to hate broccoli because of steaming, which I also think is the devil. The only satisfaction I get is knowing that it's gonna help me live longer. Cut off the excess stem. Make it clean and simple and easy. This is dangerous. This is done. Pulling off the little tree looking thingies. <laughs> this is how I do it. This has to be what a florette is. If this isn't a florette. These are called uh, broccoli stubs. <laughs> I have the tops to broccoli and the bottoms. Flor Floridians, Floridians, Florida based. Broccoli. Let's get a floretti in here. I don't know what more I would do. Giant broccoli florets, guys. I'm done. <laughs> what is a floret? Could be like a Jeopardy answer. You know? What is a floret? Maybe. A floret? I hate broccoli. Broccoli. Same plant as cabbage and Brussels sprouts. I knew that'd be exciting. We're gonna cut this broccoli into florets. Easy enough. Hey. <laughs> We're gonna throw the bouquet and floret. A floret is the top, which is the only part that I eat. Get rid of these little bits. Sad leaves off. First thing you do is you cut the butt off. This looks sharp. Famous last words. <laughs> wow! This is irrelevant. For sure. This looks like something that you'd grow out of a magic bean and climb up. Throw this away. Let's see, you can take it and it's gone. Whatever. You can and you should eat the stem. You don't want the skin on these things. And get right to that really nice core. Chop it like this. They say that your fingers, they take as much force to cut through as a carrot, which I think about all the time. Chop, boom, boom. Bam and then bam. Mm -mm 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 -mm. He loves me. He loves me not. Cut this in half. Oh my god, I hit like one thing and I've already got a florette. How cool is that? So easy. Got it. Got it. Almost done. It's like snapping little bones. Snap it up. Like this is a floret. That's a floret. This is a floret. That's a floret. Floret. A little tree. This is not a floret. This is some florets and a long stem. If you want to be tall like a tree, eat broccoli. Boil these, you can steam them, you can dip them in ranch dressing. Broccoli florets. It's a really pretty one. <laughs> florets, baby. We're going to cut broccoli into florets today. I'm gonna to peel the broccoli stems while I still have the florets intact so I can hold them in place. And the reason I peel the stem off the outside is because the further down the broccoli stalk we go, the more woody and fibrous the broccoli is. It just makes it really hard to chew. A peeling down towards the center, we get this nice smooth texture once we've gotten through that fibrous layer. I like to use a, a paring knife, a nice small knife for doing this task because it really allows me to get into the nooks and crannies. Put the florets down facing the board and just kind of rotate the broccoli, taking off the individual florets as I go around. These are the florets. They look like a, you know, a little tree. We want to be careful that we get a good balance of the leafy part to the stem. If we give this too much stem, the leafy part will start to overcook before the stem is ready to eat. Number one thing that I see people do that's a big, huge mistake is they throw all of this part of the broccoli away. This is probably half the weight of the broccoli that you bought. If I wanna make a salad and just have some raw broccoli, I can take my peeled broccoli and I can just cut it into nice, fine, thin slices like this. The other thing is that this broccoli can be shredded and turned into a really delicious coleslaw served raw. The last thing that I can do with my broccoli stems is cut them into bigger chunks just like this and cook them down with some onions or garlic and a little bit of wine add a little bit of stock and simmer them all together and puree it into a really, really nice cream of broccoli soup. So there you have it. That's our broccoli stems. And then these guys are our broccoli florets. Ready for the pan. There's another floret. 
Super cute. It's a whole forest. Broccoli florets. I did it.